Hummel's kids. If there's two things Hubble likes, it's heroes and food. And today, we're gonna combine it together with Jarrett Lerner. Thanks for having me, Hubble. Those are two of my favorite things as well. I thought so, because I really love your book, Hunger Heroes. Oh, thank you so much. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, the Hunger Heroes are super heroic taco ingredients who help the kids of their city whenever they need a snack. That sounds like fun. I hope so. All right, let's draw our own Hunger Heroes right now. Okay, Mr. Jarrett, uh, what's the first step in drawing a Hunger Hero? Well, I want to draw with you today the uh, character named Leonard from the Hunger Heroes. Oh. He's the block of cheese. Ooh. So the first thing you've got to do when you draw Leonard is make a big trapezoid, an upside down trapezoid, which is kind of a rectangle, but one end is shorter than the other. And it's okay if your lines aren't perfectly straight. Okay, I'm gonna try my best. I like that, make one longer line on top and one a little shorter at the bottom. And just connect the and ends. And then connect the ends like this. Great. Now, my favorite part about drawing Leonard is his eyes. Because his eyes are two different sizes and it gives him a really sort of panicked look. So I usually make the small one and then the big one. Oh wow, that's a big one. Yeah. The next thing you wanna do is add the pupils, the dots in the eyes. And to make him look extra anxious. I often put one up here and one down here, but you can put them anywhere you want. <laughs> That's funny. He does look anxious. The next thing to do is to draw the mouth. And you can draw the mouth in a number of ways, any way you want. If you do something wobbly like this, it makes him look nervous. But if you do an upside down U, and close it off and then add a little U for his tongue. You can make it look like he's almost screaming. Oh, that's funny. I think I'm gonna make him nervous. The next thing is the eyebrows. And normally when he's nervous, his eyebrows are just two little curves that go up. Then you're gonna wanna do the arms. And I start the arms with just some lines. Yeah, you can do them in any direction. I like that you chose your own direction. Thanks. The hands for the, for the Hunger Heroes characters are a big U and a small U that connect to what would sort of be their wrist. So I'll show you. You make a big U and then a small U, just kind of like a mm. thumb. It almost looks like mittens. Perfect. That was easy. I thought that was yeah. going to be hard. You got it. Next, we're going to do two legs. He's got little legs. And then we're going to do big, long U's for his feet. And there's Leonard. And if you want to make some teardrop shapes on his forehead, or coming off of him. These look like sweat. Oh, it looks great. And last of all, if you wanna make him look especially panicked, you can add something called emanada. Have you ever heard of that word? No, I've never heard emanada. of it. Emanada, it's fun to say. Emanada means uh, anything that is coming off of a character any mark in a comic book that draws attention to an emotion a character is having. So these are one kind of emanata. So if you draw lines, oh, it sort of focuses your eye on Leonard's panic. Emanata. I like that. Now we write our names. Oh, yeah.
Hubble, what do you think about drawing my next Hunger Heroes book for me? <laughs> I, I think I'll need a little bit more practice. <laughs> you did great. But I can't wait to color it in. Yeah. Wow, I love how my drawing of Leonard turned out. I'm happy to hear it. You did an amazing job. The best thing about this cheese is it doesn't stink. It certainly doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go color mine right now. Yeah, you gotta get a nice orange color for Leonard. Thanks for your help, Mr. Learner. See you later. See Bye. Ya. Bye. That was fun. Search for Nimble's Kids on YouTube. Make sure to click the subscribe button and come back soon.